Hey guys. Okay, so today I decided, you know what? I'm on day 12 of my quarantine. Why not film another video? So I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. I woke up at around 7.30 with no alarm, like I'm starting to get really rested, you can tell. So I woke up at 7.30, I chugged a big glass of water right off the bat and took my probiotic. Take two, so I took two of these. I did my meditation and then I made some lemon water. But this morning, I actually put cayenne pepper in it. There it is. You can kind of see it at the bottom. I don't actually know what it does. I've read a bunch about it, but it like, I don't know. Like I know what the lemon does. It like helps with digestion and like cleanses everything and like it's alkaline. Thing. But I forget what the cayenne pepper does. It kind of like kickstarts everything too. So it's 8.30 now. I just, I did my journaling and meditation. So I'm drinking this and I want to make oat milk, so I need to go get some cheesecloth, so I'm probably going to do that. I woke up at 7.30, I didn't really get out of bed and finish my morning routine until like 9, so it's 9.30 now, so I'm going to make a smoothie, and I actually just got a blender yesterday, and I'm so happy about it because I went five months without having a smoothie after, because when I moved to Korea, like I didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff for the kitchen when I'm... I would just have to leave it here after a year. So that's why I didn't buy one. But then I was like, fuck it. Like there's still like seven months left. Like I'm buying a blender. So I just bought this blender online. And okay, so I'm gonna make my smoothie. Don't ask. Like I didn't have the strawberries from like the local mart that I get come in this thing. So it's the only thing I had, but anyway, this is cucumber, so I've freezed chunks of cucumber, and these like are small little bananas, so those blueberries. I know the container's like so weird, but. So I'm lucky I don't have to worry about like buying organic and everything because the spinach and stuff that I buy at the local mart is like grown around here, so like everything's local, and it's like, you can tell even by looking at it. Like when was the last time you went to the store and bought spinach, and it looks like this? Like, never. And I also throw whatever kind of greens that I can get in. I still, like, don't know what this is. So, I do need to wash these. Okay, so now I'm putting my banana, cucumber, lemon, and I chopped up a little bit of ginger. Just Last thing I'm adding is some. See, it doesn't look cute once I put the blueberries in, so. This is something that I'm gonna start having every morning before my coffee, because I've been trying to like not be addicted to caffeine, so. If I have this in my body, and drinking coffee on an empty stomach's like not good. It raises your cortisol, makes you hold on to weight. I'm gonna start having this first. Oh, it's still chunky. Mm. It's good. I like it when it's like gingery. It's 9.30. This is what I'm having before any coffee or anything. So fruit first. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make oat milk. Never made it before. Just went to the store. Picked this thing up. Everyone says I need to look up a recipe. Because I just want a coffee. And look at the new cups. They're like so cute. So my girl, my barista, my barista, she's the best. Okay. Minimalist baker. I don't have any dates. One cup rolled oats, four cups water. Don't have any measurements. I read it was like one cup's like seven tablespoons. I bought another one yesterday. 
I feel like that's like I also don't have much room for my cup so I'm gonna do this I don't have like the option of dairy free milk so like I don't know why I didn't buy a blender earlier so I can make my own nut milk okay oh that was a lot put some in my coffee Mmm, smells good. <laughs> it doesn't taste very good. Okay. Now I need to strain it, but I don't have cheesecloth. Also, it's 11.15, so I like walked out to the store, did a little walk, got my coffee. And I had to get like stain remover to wash my sneakers and I had to get this thing to put oat milk in. I need to strain this. It says to use an old t-shirt, but like that's weird to me. I don't even know if I have one. I mean, I guess I can like wash it. It's still weird. Okay, but here's what it looks like. Looks good. I just used this little strainer. Okay, I have this thing. And I got like a good chunk out. I've literally made a mess, but this cloth it's stained because it has turmeric on it so like fuck off and it got like a lot out so this is the final product I feel like that just like took so long but looks good Honestly, if I had a date, that would make it way better. But, like, that's not bad. I mean, Oatly's obviously better because it's full of fucking shit, but, like, tastes clean. Sweet. I'm back, and it's 12.30. I'm, like, not that hungry, but I'm, like, really putting off doing a workout right now. So, I'm gonna eat some oatmeal. I put this like in with like the oats before I make it and so I've just been like bored as bunk in it. This huge zucchini. Have you ever put zucchini in your oats? I'm always scared I'm going to chop a finger. Okay. And then I just put that. So I have banana, zucchini, oats. And then I put this in, like a little, I'm just gonna like, ugh. <laughs> and I just made some oat milk, so I'm gonna put a splash of that in. I put a little bit more water in. Stir. We wait. I just put some cinnamon. I like love oatmeal now. Ow. <laughs> Just like a little bit of blueberries. I'm gonna cut this up. This is frozen. I like love frozen banana. And these bananas are so tiny. So even though I had one in my smoothie this morning, one in here, and I'm gonna top, put a, cut up a little bit of this frozen one. Like the size, oh, of like the three is probably like the size of like a one large banana. Like that's how tiny they are. So there it is. So then I'm gonna put some honey on it. I don't have any nut butter, like, or I would put it on there, but like I have to order nut butter online because they don't have any natural peanut butter here in Korea. Put it on it. So like, let me know. And then some frozen banana. This is what I have left. So this is my like lunch, late breakfast, so. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get a good bite. Let's get it. It's so good like every time. So dinner. Okay, so <laughs> you're probably wondering what the fuck this is. This 
It is just I sauteed onion, garlic, and ginger in some olive oil. And then just put in a bunch of veggies, sauteed those. I put like mushroom, tomato, bok choy, purple cabbage, and then turmeric cayenne. And then I added some water and coconut milk. And yeah. I've actually like never made this before, but I don't know, it smells good. And I mean like, I'm not like that hungry because I ate a fuck ton of peanuts, which is dumb on my part. So I'm like kind of full after I made the peanut butter. So this is what I'm gonna have for dinner and then probably some more peanuts to be honest. It's 7.08, so yeah. I'll eat this and then some tea. And then I'll go to bed at like 9 because I'm a grandma. Well, here's what it looks like. One last shot. That's it. That's my what I eat in a day even though the day's not over. So <sighs> hope you enjoyed. And if you have any recommendations for what I should eat, let me know. Because I'm always down to try something new, I guess. So yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>